Peppa Pig Tails. Let's jump in! Peppa, have you decided what you're giving away to the charity shop? Yes! All of this! Whoa! <laughs> Today, Peppa is giving some of her toys and clothes to a charity shop. This is called donating. Uh, away we go! Whee! <laughs> charity shops sell donated items Aww. and use the money to help people. Great! Do you want to help me sell them? Yes, please! I'll help by shopping. <laughs> Peppa is excited for people to buy her old things. <gasps> oh. But no one is buying them. No one is buying any of the things I donated, Miss Rabbit. Not to worry. We just need to let people know they're available to buy. <laughs> like this. Do you like <gasps> toy rabbits, Police Officer Panda? Yes. Did you want to buy this one? <gasps> I do. <gasps> Thank you. Why don't you try, Peppa? <gasps> <gasps> I'm a bit cold, <gasps> Mummy. Would you like to buy this jumper, Susie? It's very warm and woolly <laughs> and cosy. <laughs> yes. Please, I love wool. Bonjour, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking for a gift for somebody <gasps> who loves sports. Hmm. I know. Hmm. <gasps> Catch. Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Pepper wants to sell her <laughs> toy bus next. But there's no one left to sell to. There's no one left in the shop, Miss Rabbit. Except <gasps> Mummy. Let's put it in the window display so everyone outside can see it. Yay! Hello there. Look at this toy bus. Would you like to buy it? No one can hear Pepper from outside the shop. <gasps> The big real bus looks just like Peppa's little toy bus. <gasps> we have the same bus. Oh. Maybe it'll sell tomorrow, Peppa. <gasps> Yay! Excuse me, is that toy bus for sale? <gasps> Why, yes it is. Would you like to buy it? I would love to buy it. I love all buses, big and small. Hooray! Peppa loves the charity shop. Everyone <gasps> loves the charity shop. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you like, George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George loves to go bowling. And he loves bowling shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing shoes. Very noisy! 
George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes. They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. Ah. George oh. loves clown <laughs> shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big, and George is very small. Oh. Uh, shoes. Shoes. <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> I think I will have hmm that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. Oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special yeah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. 
What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. <laughs> juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finished. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty uh, too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's <gasps> lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created mm -hmm. a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly Ooh! 
But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Pepper loves learning about juice, and Pepper really loves her delicious rainbow juice. <gasps> George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund <laughs> love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. Oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across <laughs> it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. 
It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big oh. runner. But the sand oh. is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well done, show. George. I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> Peppa is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! Oh, my ice cream! Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Oh, oh dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing, but there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese. And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say 
Cheese! Cheese! Now Pepper is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. <laughs> camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. Oh. <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> Pepper and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we add ice cream cherries and whipped cream. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Pepper and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay. Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow ah, one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> 
let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! Me! Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. <laughs> Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. <laughs> there we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. 
Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The Funhouse mirrors make <laughs> Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss <laughs> Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Careful, George. This is a very small town Whoa. and you're a very giant <laughs> dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? <laughs> George is very excited to play giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> A giant! Two giants! <laughs> Pepper and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds! Hello, clouds! <laughs> We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. Hooray! <laughs> giant Pepper and Giant George love to help their friends in Toyland. <gasps> They help the passengers Whee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! 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 <laughs> and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry. We can fix it. Peppa and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Peppa and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! 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 Oh, goody! Hungry. I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So they will have to have real food instead. Careful, George! <laughs> Go! Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. 
Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> Um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Ruff, ruff. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Peppa. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold 
Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Huh. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. Prize, Daddy. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Grandpa George, where are you? <laughs> Today, Peppa is playing in the garden with George and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> I found you! Peppa has found George and Grandpa Pig in a bush. <laughs> it's so cosy in here. Yes, reminds me of the garden den I had as a boy. Can we make a garden den, Grandpa? Yes, indeed. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing special gardening gloves and boots ah. to make the garden den. <laughs> First, we need to dig a hole with these spades and get lots of sticks and twigs. Pepper loves digging the hole with Grandpa Pig. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, um, well done, Pepper. And George loves ah. gathering sticks. 
I think that's enough sticks. Well done, George. Now Grandpa Pig is hammering the sticks into the hole. Stand back, everyone. <coughs> Finally, Grandpa Pig makes a roof out of sticks. And Pepper and George cover the roof in lots of leaves. Why do we need the leaves, Grandpa? They keep the den nice and warm. Look safe and sound. <gasps> well done. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You'll need this before we go in, Peppa. Grandpa Pig has given Peppa a special backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is very happy with their new garden den. Um, Grandpa, what do we do in the garden den? My favourite thing to do in a den is have a <gasps> picnic. The special backpack is full of fruit from the garden. Pepper and George <laughs> love having a picnic in the garden den. Mm. Peppa, oh. George, where are you? <laughs> 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 Everyone loves having a picnic in the garden den. It is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear, do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like, and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway, or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Peppa wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Peppa and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> What happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food, and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look, she's nearly here. Let's go and find Yay! her. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Peppa and George have gone to the wrong door. Oh. It's here! It's here. <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Peppa. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay. Peppa and George don't know what the special oh. surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. Mm. Mm. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy noodles are not Peppa's favourite. Here, try a vegetable spring roll. Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Peppa loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Ready for an adventure to the seaside. Yay! Hooray! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, 
I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting! <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Peppa, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Peppa are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. Oh, this carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh -oh. ah. <laughs> this must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me! me. Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. Ah. This carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Huh? Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh -huh. to the seaside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next stop, the seaside. <laughs> the bus has broken oh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> Now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Ho, ho. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look. Now there's a baby in my tummy, too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving, too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. 
Oh, a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more like foot tickles. Oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Wow. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, dear. The toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Dinosaur. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. Mm. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. Sure, I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Peppa, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Peppa. This toilet needs fixing. Oh! They even try a toilet shop. Ooh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> you. Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops. Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is... Everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Ooh. Have a splendid time.
time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, no splashing! <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails Ah! Almost got you! Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata <laughs> and get the treats inside because today Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra ah. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom. <laughs> I like that word. Pom-pom. Pom-pom. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila. Wow. I will help you. Oh. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole. Mooly? Guacamole! Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious! Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying 
Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Peppa like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh, dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, oh. oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Whee! Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. Oh. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Peppa's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Hello, everyone. I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um. Go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea. <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh. Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Pepper and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, um, we can brush our teeth. 
That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side, tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes stickers. Today, Peppa's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. Whoops! Sorry, everyone! Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? Oh, yes. The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go! Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. You all look ready to get going. Yes! <laughs> Peppa, Susie and Pedro, you'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. And Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick! To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave! Ho! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? Everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho! Well done! Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Heave, ho! Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is everyone ready? Ready! On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Peppa is helping her friends row as a team. Weave, <laughs> Weave, blow. Um, believe, go. Almost there! It's neck and neck! It's a draw! Well done, children! Hooray! Everyone loves rowing boats and everyone loves working as a team. A super strike for a super bowler! Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese. Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now 
You shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> but Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler! Hooray! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum. Look, George. This dinosaur has a sister, and a mummy, and a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh. Hooray! Oh. oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do next, Pepper? Huh? Pepper? Mummy Pig can't see where Pepper has gone. Here I am! I am a Viking! Grr. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking! Grr. Viking! <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking! Uh, I mean, a woolly mammoth! Grr. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. <sighs> I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning, and lots of visitors have come to the museum. Oh, look, look at these Vikings, Granddad! Moo! What a great mammoth! It looks so lifelike! Everyone thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. 
Huh? What's going on? Oh. Oh. That's not a Viking. That's Pepper. Oh dear. It looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum, but we overslept. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The fireworks are about to start. It's bonfire night, and Peppa is very excited. She thinks bonfires are lovely to look at. Wow! Woof. Hi, Peppa. You're just in time. The fireworks will begin in five, four, three, two, one. The fireworks are going so high. Whoa! Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa. Oh dear. Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We're going to the back. Where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. Excuse me, please. Us again. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having <laughs> lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Bigger? Does that mean louder? <laughs> Oh, my. What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. Well, I know. Ah. Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud, too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes. Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow! That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Pepper. We can't hear the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen! All clear! No cars! Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Pepper. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. 
Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Pepper. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. Today is sports day at Pepper's Playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK! <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower. Faster. Slower. No, faster. Yeah. Squeak. <laughs> draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. If I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah! yeah! We lost. Squeak. But we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. Yeah. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The Pink Team and the Blue Team love Sports Day. Everyone loves Sports Day. <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family <gasps> are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. 
but we're almost at the pond. <gasps> I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and another. <gasps> oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Nobody Ooh. knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh, um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck pond, pond big wiggle whack. whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa 
Pepper practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish. Yes, well done. And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Yay! It's time to get ready for playgroup, Pepper. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Pepper's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Pepper <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Pepper. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <laughs> and quite heavy, too. <sighs> Phew, what have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my. Some candy cane. Delicious. Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm, maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know your sad Christmas is over, but I promise playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also loves going back to Playgroup. Everyone loves going back to Playgroup. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup <laughs> are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> oh. And Danny, that's a marvellous... Pardon? Oh, thank 
shoe, Madam Gazelle. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puzzle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddy and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big ah. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! star! Peppa loves the lovely star and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madame Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well... We'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madame Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madame Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madame Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it. <laughs> we solved the mystery. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Oh. 
Mummy Pig is dropping Pepper off at Playgroup. But Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Ooh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag? <gasps> and a fresh nappy. <laughs> 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 Everyone likes helping Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. There, fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <laughs> Baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, mm. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> Well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby Alexander's painting has reminded <laughs> Pepper that it's time for lunch. It's baby Alexander's mm. lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! <laughs> Is baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh, my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. Hooray! Hello, I'm King Pepper. It's another day at playgroup, <laughs> and everyone is pretending Pepper is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying oh. being king of the playgroup. She really likes <gasps> all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, everyone has to be loud. Now, quiet. <laughs> now, loud. Everyone is enjoying.
enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. Today is pancake day at Peppa's playgroup. Ah! the pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Lovely. Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. <laughs> oh. 
Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Pepper most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. 